Hi, I'm Rob Mickelson. I'm the Director of Agronomic Services for Yara in North America. And I'm happy to spend a few minutes with you today to briefly discuss the influence of plant nutrition on root health. I'm glad to spend time talking about roots because they are so often overlooked. You can easily identify this nitrogen deficient corn by the scented plants, the yellow leaves, and the cobs that never fill with green. But we forget that the nitrogen deficient roots are also suffering from a shortage of nutrients. The ability of roots to explore for water and nutrients is also then limited by a lack of proper nutrition. So let's first talk about nitrogen and how important it is for healthy roots. Adequate nitrogen promotes the development of a dense and extensive root system so the plants can absorb that water and the other nutrients from the soil. However, excessive nitrogen can lead to overly lush foliage at the expense of root growth. I've listed some of the impacts of nitrogen on roots in this slide here. So nitrogen contributes to root health in many ways, allowing cells to properly develop, root growth promoting hormones, energy transport, and just how that root system grows in the soil and promotes better water use efficiency. We can't discuss all these in detail now, but I've tried to include references here and in the other slides where you can get more information if that would be helpful. Now this is a picture from a classic study published about 50 years ago. In this work, the authors grew wheat in a low nitrogen soil but had one small zone in the soil that did receive nitrate fertilizer. Later, they dug up the wheat plants and observed the root architecture. It was amazing how the root system responded to that small amount of nitrogen by growing so many roots in that little spot. The lesson here is that roots are very adaptable. They prosper wherever they find favorable conditions. These favorable conditions could be, for example, surrounding a band of phosphorus fertilizer, in a limited soil zone right under a drip emitter, or maybe part of a planted bed that might have lower salinity. So let's switch to phosphorus for a minute. Native plants often have to grow in soil with low phosphorus concentrations, but they have adapted mechanisms that allow them to survive this low phosphorus environment. Plants growing in a low phosphorus soil often respond by changing their architecture with a higher root density or more root branches that allow them to explore more of the soil. And sometimes in low phosphorus soils, plants release more organic acids, different ions and enzymes that boost the solubilization of phosphorus. And third, in these low phosphorus conditions, roots can signal that low phosphorus and they release signals that stimulate the association with mycorrhizal fungi or other phosphorus solubilizing bacteria. But phosphorus fertilization has a clear benefit on root growth. We often hear this from vegetable growers in particular who need to establish a vigorous root system as quickly as possible. Now, while plants sometimes respond to a lack of phosphorus by growing more roots as they seek out that phosphorus from the soil. A phosphorus deficiency, as I mentioned, can trigger hormone signals that the plant needs to produce more roots to cope with this deficiency. And then it starts to signal an association with the mycorrhizal fungi when soil phosphorus concentrations are low. Let's talk for a minute about potassium. Potassium has perhaps a less direct impact on roots, but it has a huge influence on overall plant growth, performing essential functions like getting nitrogen and sugar moved around the plant, improved water relations, and so forth. So here's just a few photos of root systems growing either in low potassium or with adequate potassium. In this one, you can easily see the low potassium root on the right that's shrunken and unhealthy compared to the healthy root up on top. 
One more picture showing the response of both root and shoot growth of corn growing with varying concentrations of potassium. Now we don't have time to dig into all the details of calcium nutrition today, but it is involved in many aspects of root health. I listed some of them here that you can look at later, or we might just discuss them in a future chat. A clear illustration of the importance of calcium for root health is shown in these grapevines. You can see the stunted and brown roots in the plant with inadequate calcium. I especially notice the absence of young and light colored root tips when calcium is in short supply. In addition to the visible harm that we see that low calcium causes to root growth, when we take a look at the internal structure of the roots where calcium is lacking, we see poor vascular structure. You recall that the xylem makes up part of the internal plumbing system in the plant that delivers water and nutrients around the plant, so roots cannot perform well when calcium is too low. One overlooked contribution of calcium also is that it triggers the signal to produce the auxin hormone that's needed to stimulate root production. Now this gets it quickly into a lot of complicated plant physiology, but it is an additional role of calcium that's worth mentioning. There are many other examples we could discuss, magnesium in this case, but I think you get the idea by now. And last, don't forget that the micronutrients all have a role in stimulating root growth too. The quantity of micronutrients required by plants is quite small, but their importance to root growth is just as important as the macronutrients, such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and calcium. So in summary, I want to encourage you to think about the part of the plant that you don't usually see. A balanced supply of plant nutrients is just as important to root health as it is to leaf health and to yield. Without a healthy root system, the entire plant health suffers. So I hope you'll join me in an upcoming nutrient talk where we will discuss how the source of nutrients makes a big difference in promoting root health. Thank you and hope to see you soon.